What's up and welcome back to week four of the Kevin's Coast to Coast NFL Gambling Show. What a strange week this has been. The Titans-Steelers game was postponed due to COVID. The Pats Chief game, highly anticipated game. That's been moved to Monday or Tuesday as it stands now. We'll see if that holds up. But there's still basically a full slate of games on Saturday, so we do still have our regular picks coming your way. First, a recap, starting with East Coast Kevin, who we will now refer to as Hatch, because it turns out keeping the record straight is super hard when both your gamblers basically have the same name. Hatch teased the Pats plus one and the Cowboys plus 11 last week. Easy win for him, improving his lock of the week record to one and one. He also split on the primetime picks. Both underdogs won outright with the Packers upsetting the Saints and the Chiefs upsetting the Ravens. He had the Saints and Chiefs, so that's one and one in primetime picks, two and three for the season. West Coast Kevin, or Quinn, as he'll be known from now on, missed again on his lock. He had the Falcons minus three and a half. They had another monumental collapse, getting outscored 20 to nothing in the fourth quarter and losing by four. So he's now sitting at 0 2 for locks. And to make things worse, He's missed on both primetime games as well, picking the Saints and the Ravens, so 0-2 there. He's now tied with Hatch. They're both 2-3 and overall in their primetime games. And then I gave my first lock of the week last week. I went outside of football in the world of MMA, which I'll continue to do. Uh, I told you to pick Brandon Royval to win, and I hope you did. He was a 2-1 to underdog, and he absolutely dominated, finally getting the submission in the second round. Easy money. I also went 2-0 and in my primetime picks, so I'm sitting at a perfect... 3-0 and last week, and I was 1-1 in primetime picks prior, so that makes my primetime record 3-1 and as it stands now. So Hatch, 1-1 and with his locks, 2-3 and in his primetime picks. Quinn, 0-2 with his locks, and also 2-3 and in his primetime picks. And then I am 1-0 and with my locks and 3-1 and in my primetime picks. But on to this week. We've actually got a bit of a crossover bet here, but we'll start with Hatch. He's got the Saints and the Bucks in a parlay which will give the Saints plus three against the Lions and the Bucks minus one against the Chargers. And for his primetime games, he's going with the Eagles and the Falcons. Both are seven-point underdogs against the 49ers and Packers, respectively. On to Quinn now. He's also teasing the Bucks, which makes them a one-point dog, as I just mentioned. But his second pick is the Seahawks. With the T's, that evens things up with the Dolphins. So as long as the Seahawks win there, he'll be good. And for the primetime games, he's going with the 49ers laying the points against the Eagles and his beloved Falcons. I should say when he sent the Falcons, he sent the praying emoji uh, next to it. So I don't know. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the Falcons. Let's hope they can pull this one off. Now, I'll just get my primetime games out of the way early. Give me the Falcons for sure something's got to give there, especially with so many points on the line. And I guess I'll take the Eagles as well. Just so many injuries on the 49ers roster, and the Eagles are due for a win, I guess. Although, as a Cowboys fan, I hope they lose but cover. And I've got another MMA pick for you guys. Again, a hit of my pick from last week, but this one is a doozy of a payout. So maybe don't break the bank on this one. It is, however, well worth a little sprinkle of cash. Cameron Else is riding a six-fight win streak into his UFC debut. He's a tough kid out of the UK. He's fighting out of Jackson Wink huge prolific fight camp for anyone that's not as big into MMA and the kid he's fighting is is a really good prospect so that explains the odds a little bit more but you can get Cameron Ellis as a four to one underdog right now those are some really hard odds to resist Cameron Ellis is tough yes it's his debut yes it's short notice but I do think he can get the job done and that's it lock those picks in I hope you guys win some money this weekend happy October to all of you and I will see you next week for some more picks all right see you guys